What up, YouTube? Keith Buds here. Time for an episode three of Cooking with Keith Buds. Today we are making Deer Burger. So we got one pound of venison in there. We got just a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning, a little bit of minced onion, a little bit of seasoned salt. Put that in there. We do uh, just a bit of uh, sriracha sauce and some ketchup. We're going to mix it all up. Of course, I did leave out one crucial ingredient that is just not the same without. It's got to be Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, what's this here? Yeah, but they have a do whatever the hell you want to call the stuff. It's delicious, and you're going to need about two, three dashes of it. So I mixed it up, and I've already made a bunch of burgers ahead of time. But this is my way of making burgers. We're going to make... A bigger one, this one's going to be just about a quarter pound. And take a handful of meat, get it into a rough ball, push, wow this is wicked hard to do on camera. <clears throat> and just form a burger. Take said burger set down with the other ones. I put saran wrap on a piece or on a uh, cutting board and then put my burgers down and then another piece of saran wrap. Uh, next step, I've already had the grill lit. It's been heating up, getting super hot on high on just one burner side for about 10-15 minutes now. So we're going to go down there. Alright, so you see I've laid our burgers out onto our hot grill. Um, I've laid them out on tinfoil because if you notice I didn't put any eggs or any sort of binder in there. So the meat itself is actually going to hold it together. And if I do it on the regular grate, they tend to break and fall through during the flipping. But you see how it's got its own little juices coming out? Well, we're going to trap those juices in there. I'm just going to lift up the corners and make like this little tinfoil bath. Little tinfoil bathtub. I'm doing this all one handed here. So, we have made our little tinfoil tin. This has been on here for about three, four minutes. And as you can see, grill does not always cook evenly so every time we open this grill up we're going to rotate it which is venison tends to cook kind of fast on high heat and if you're good you can catch it uh my dad used to call me a high heat expert because i cook everything on high well for the most part but um yeah eggs everything always on high as so i was preparing to be a line cook I don't know, but these are going to kind of simmer in their own juice. They're not going to lose anything. They're not going to fall through the grates. They're not going to get burned because all this nice, super, super heavy-duty tin foil. And if you put it on there about 10 seconds before you put the burgers themselves on it, it'll actually sizzle the burgers a little bit. It's pretty cool. But we are going to get grill marks, and we are going to get actual grill taste uh, you'll see how we do that later. So we'll check in in just a couple minutes. So it has been a couple more minutes. I made one turn. You notice the juice is starting to burl. Everyone's simmering. I turned it already. Everyone's cooking nice and happy. This is what you have to watch out for. That means that there's too much high heat and not enough moisture. Because everything kind of goes over this way on my grill. Because it's not exactly even, which I hope to fix soon. So, a couple more minutes. Uh, once we get one full rotation in, we're going to flip them. And going for turn number three. Alright, a couple more minutes. 
we are at turn number four, and that means time to do the flip. Uh, this this one back here, he's gonna stay on that side for a while, but oh, we do. We just flip and see how they stay together, real nice. If I can get the damn. There we go. Try not to poke holes in your tin foil. Yeah. Screw this. The way I tell they're done is, or on that side, when I poke them, it, about halfway through it should feel solid. Let's see, flip them. Let's see. You poke this one, it's not quite there yet, but all these other ones are ready. So we're going to rotate that one to the hottest part so that we can get him on board with everyone else. That one's all happy. It got with the program. It was being a slacker. So, in approximately... four to seven minutes we should be pretty much done so as you can see we have our white American cheese because mr. and mrs. Keith buds are a little bit a little bit broke this week so we got cheat cheese imitation cheese and I know it's a crime to put like crappy, will you shut up? Crappy cheese on good meat, but you know, no, no one really likes a plain hamburger, or in this case, Derek. So this stuff really doesn't melt that well, but we're gonna give it a chance anyways. Uh, we're gonna be done in just a couple minutes. I'm actually gonna turn the heat off and let the cheese melt. Then we go and we. I automatically always turn this off because. We blew through a bottle last year and have no idea why. Well, it turns out that this side part here was uh, leaking a little bit of gas. So it drained the tank in like three days. So from that point on, always with the turning off of the damn valve. Oh yeah, see we still got juices. There's still juice in there. It's not all... Oh yeah, that's perfect. So, I'm gonna get these off the heat. I'm gonna take the saran wrap off of my cutting board. Put this whole thing right on my cutting board and go upstairs. So, back in the kitchen, we're going to make these very, very simple. Uh, we like double deckers around here. So, we just throw a little ketchup down. Burger. Burger. Flip. And that, my friends, is Deer Burger 101. Try it, enjoy it, like, subscribe, share. Have a good one, everyone.